want you to imagine your perfect running environment. Maybe it's sunny and warm, and there's a breeze blowing at your back. Maybe you're running down the streets in your neighborhood, and you have your favorite music playing through your headphones. Or maybe you like running in the rain, or in the cold, where you can see your breath in the chilly weather. Either way, I want you to think of each factor that makes a great run. Your favorite weather, the time of day, the right music playing, and comfortable shoes. Now, many of these things we cannot control. The weather, the environment, how we feel. However, you can control what we wear, or we can't control what we wear. That will make for a great run. How many of you have gone through multiple shoes trying to find the right fit? And how many of you have gone through multiple shoes looking for the lightweight, barefoot feel that all runners love? Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, I have an answer to both these troubles. My name is Gabe Puente, and I'm Chief Executive, or Chief Product Officer at Nike Incorporated. I received my undergrad at the University of Chicago at Booth, and my Master's of Business Administration at Stanford University. I've been working with Nike for 17 years, and have seen the creation of many of our company's greatest innovations in sports technology, such as Nike Air, Nike Plus, and now the Nike Fly, Flynet. What I'm going to show you will completely change the way you grow as well as change the entire running shoe market. Here, ladies and gentlemen, I have a Nike Flight, a revolutionary new running shoe that weighs only 5.6 ounces. Make sure that you have the least amount of weight in stopping you from performing your best. I believe a runner needs three main things. A positive attitude, a will to challenge themselves, and a great pair of shoes. A great pair of shoes ensures that your feet can keep up with your drive and attitude while running. One of the things that the Nike Flyknit offers runners is the most lightweight shoe on the market. The design of the Flyknit shoe mimics the feeling of being barefoot, the feeling that many runners strive to achieve. The technology that is able to create this lightweight shoe is a sewing machine, which weaves the whole top part of the shoe in one piece with a specifically designed yarn designed by Nike. This is then attached to the sole of the shoe and it creates this product you see here. Nike, uh, so the sewing machine used to produce the 5.6 ounce Nike Flyknit is much like that of the sewing machine used to create socks. Nike engineers used this template to create a machine that would make something as light as socks into something that would fit into a shoe. Also, since the sewing machine is electronic and reads data, it can weave a shoe with custom dimensions to specific feet sizes of the customer. I want to go over some of our competition. First, I'm going to talk about the Vibram Five Finger Shoes, which are the shoes on your left. You may have seen these shoes, and they're called Five Fingers because they fit each, each one of your five toes. Uh, the, the, <clears throat> the biggest thing about these is the toe factor. The toes on your feet help to help the foot to make certain The toes help the foot develop certain muscles that allow for a greater stride and increase flexibility uh, of your movement. They don't offer much protection for your feet, however, 
So while you may feel like you're running barefoot, there is not a lot of protection underneath your foot. The, shoe fit, the shoes fit more like tight socks, and therefore they might not fit your specific foot size. The Nike Flyknit can give you a custom fit. Next is the New Balance Minimus, which is on the far right. The New Balance is lighter than the Nike, weighing it at 4 ounces. It offers great support on the bottom in key areas of foot tension, but the cutout valleys on the sole of, your, of the foot where the pressure wasn't, isn't placed. They did this to cut, off, um, to cut down on, on weight. However, this leaves a lot of room for penetration on the gravel or whatever you may my step on. So it could be a dangerous option. Lastly, the Merrill Barefoot Shoe, which is bottom center, is a lightweight and comfortable shoe. However, the sole and structure are made to conform to rough terrain and may cause discomfort. Where the Nike Flyknit wrap, wraps around your foot and does not restrict the, to the toes or the rest of your foot. We've already seen great success with a Nike Free, a lightweight, minimalist shoe, but not a barefoot runner. The release of the Nike Free launched our company's footwear sales to 21% in three months. The Nike Free was marketed towards a smaller group of runner athletes, but it took off and is now one of the top selling products Nike has to offer. The Flyknit is, not, is a lot like the Nike Free in that, it, <clears throat> in that it's lightweight, but we also believe that this shoe can do the same thing that the Nike Free did, did and expand to other markets. We're not only selling a shoe that simulates barefoot running perfectly, but also a custom made lightweight shoe for the everyday consumer. Our company believes that the technology used to create this shoe can also in the future be used to create custom dimensions by scanning a buyer's foot. <clears throat> to abbreviate what I've said today, the Nike Flyknit is a new running shoe which utilizes new sewing technology to sew specifically designed yarn to create the top half of the shoe making for a lightweight, simple, and most importantly, comfortable shoe. It is a great barefoot runner. It will offer you a lightweight feeling that everyone that you were looking for. But also, it will mimic the feeling of running barefoot with added protection and support. I'd like to open the floor for questions. Yes. Okay, so you said that the shoe is made to fit certain sizes. Do you send in measurements or like it doesn't go by the normal shoe size? They, they do, no. Oh, it does? Allow me to uh, say that again. They do, it's normal shoe sizes. Uh, they are ha creating technology right now that will gather the dimensions of your foot and since it's showing the mach sewing machine is electronic, uh, data can be entered in of your foot, the dimensions of your foot, and it will sew the specific size of your foot. Um, as most shoes are made with different materials, different uh, materials sewed on together, this is just yarn. And it's a specific, specifically designed yarn that will withstand uh, pressure. So it's a strong yarn, and that's what makes it easy to fit around your foot. But they do come in every day, every size. Yes? What's the price? The price uh, is currently one one hundred forty nine dollars U.S. Yes. I have two questions. One of them is: is can you you like run in all types of weather? Like, yes. Depending on the, the shoe. Um, they're I mean they're not specifically waterproof, but since they're lightweight enough to not be held down by uh, added precipitation, uh, they're not going to soak up water. Is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. So yes, you can run if you were running in the rain. That's fine. And then do you wear socks with them, or do you just wear them? You, like, yes, you can wear socks. Uh, I know a lot of runners don't wear socks, just to cut down on the amount of stuff they're wearing. Uh, but yes, you can wear socks with this. Okay. Any other questions? I'd like, I'd like to thank you uh, again for coming out. And, uh, uh, we have a booth in the back, so you can go try on the shoes and you can contact me back there.
Thank you.